Krista Power says that's what being diagnosed with breast cancer this past year made her feel. We've had the privilege of following her journey. She is now cancer free. But when you ask what that diagnosis initially did to her joy, she admits. Early on, um, it just immediately zapped it out and my joy felt distant and unreachable and there were moments that I was afraid it would not return. That's not uncommon in tough circumstances, Betsy Linnell of Ohio's Cedarville University told me. And while it can progress to a true mental health problem, there's also a name for this joyless feeling. It's called anhedonia. What's interesting with anhedonia is it's really kind of a numbing or flatting of both extremes. Feeling flat in high or low extremes can result from any trauma. Krista told me, however, recently she had a small moment of joy come back. Waking up with bedhead because I went months with no hair on my head and now I'm like, there's enough to mess up. And apparently it's the small stuff in tough times that helps joy return. Betsy says when you can say, this life sucks, this is hard, but I have joy because of this small thing. You'll find moments of joy, seeing pretty flowers, hearing birds sing. For now, it's joy and it's finding those small pieces that you can appreciate in everyday life. It is what allows me to keep putting one foot in front of the other when I don't know where exactly I'm going and where I'm going to end up. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.